Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die at Alpha 21 Experimental. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to hopefully get our cement mixer and do our first Tier 3 quest. So, uh, a couple things. I have been making shepherd's pie, hobo stew, 10 more hobo stews to go, and I have enough ingredients here to make our very first tuna fish gravy toast. It's a beautiful thing. So let's see, we need about 33 minutes of burn time in total. Looks like there's enough left. We'll grab those two guys out of there and throw them in there. And we have eight hobo stew plus another, how many? 10 cooking up. So that's awesome. I think we'll take the hobo stew with us because that'll double as both food and also healing. Um, I'm going to make ourselves a level three wrench here just because it'll be a little more durable than this guy. And um, the tools no longer are used in recipes. So once you're done with your tool and you're moving to a new one, unless you want a backup, of course, uh, you might as well just sell it. And we'll get $134 make you holla out of that guy. I don't think there's any mods that I want to add to that. I don't have a ton of mods, so the ones I do have, I want to hang on to. Um, all of this stuff down here we're going to sell. Um, so we'll run that over to Trader Gin and sell that. And uh, we have two points to spend. I'm going to save one point for in case we need to put it into advanced engineering because we just need one more point in order to get to the cement mixer. But when we go visit Trader Jen, if she has, uh, all we need is just one Forge Ahead magazine. If she has one for sale, we're just going to buy it and then we're there and we're good to go. And then uh, we can spend those points on something else. In fact, we still could spend one point right now. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll go to agility and we'll put a point in Hidden Strike. Because I'm, the more I think about it, the more I think I want to go with an agility uh, stealth build for, you know, uh, the mid to late game. Uh, we did, you know, put quite a bit of investment in Perception. So we're still going to be doing uh, Dead Eye for Sniping, Demolitions Expert, and Penetrator for sure, and probably even Salvage Ops a little bit at some point. But uh, those aren't the priorities right at the moment. Very good. Okay, so let's see. Our wrench is going to be done in about 23 seconds. Uh, Trader Gin's not going to open up for a little bit yet. So let's do this. Let's go to our quest thing. And, well, we have to get, yeah, that's right. We have to get a tier three quest from her. We'll be able to get one. Uh, so I guess we could start this tier two fetch and clear, the, which is a new place, the Rosalind Residence. We haven't been there yet. Um, while, you know, while we're waiting for her to open. So let's do that. We're going to put this on here. No, not that. Modify. And you know what else we could do is... I know this is unusual, but will it let me put this on here? It sure will, and that's just going to increase its block damage is 53. Now it's 56.8. That's the only reason I did that, but it was a good reason. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Why don't we just top off our food on a grilled meat and water. And we have lots of water, as you can see. And I've even used a lot of water already for cooking. And uh, we'll go knock out this, this Tier 2 quest, and then we'll go visit Jin. Hopefully she'll have a Forge Head magazine we can buy. If not, then we'll just we'll probably end up putting... Well, you know what else we could do, actually? We could go... We're going this way. Uh, we could also go raid a crackbook POI, whether we have, you know, a job for it or not. That's maybe what we should do if Jin does not have a magazine. Because we're almost guaranteed for sure to get at least one of those in that scenario. Anyway, let's go over to this Roslyn residence and see if we can knock out this quest in a fairly timely manner. Oh, I actually had this Ma Baker and Sons Bakery selected instead. Uh, I guess the Rosalind was a tier one. Okay, well, I guess we can do this one since we're here. Why not? Let's do it. So, yeah, fetch and clear. There's a body bag in there. What kind of bakery is this? 
Uh, I'm going to take that only. What do we got in here? All right, useful stuff. Um, check the cupboards because we might find magazine or cornmeal. Got a gay rouge. Nope, don't want any of that stuff. That opens up into an office. All right, I don't see anything else over here. Off with your head. Off with your butt. And head. All right, we got a wall safe that's defunct there. It doesn't look like there's anything in that thingy. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll take those for the moment. Uh, search the desk. Oh, there's books on the floor. Nope, don't want that. Take the books, though. Uh, harvesting tools. Iron tools, quality four. Very nice. We'll take it. Anything behind Big Mama or that vent? Uh-uh. Uh, we already have one of those, but we will certainly take that one and sell it. Make a little... Oh, what are that? Two college jackets. What do you know? Two college jackets. We'll take them. Really? Le bathroom. Toilet. Paper. Okay. Door's locked. I guess I'll take both of those things for the moment. Looks like we are now in the front of the store. Hey, we got a double. Nice. Very nice. More toilet paper. Let's see what's here. Plastiques. Oh shit. A cop. There's a cop at the donut shop. No exploding, please. Not allowed. Well, not in this particular situation, anyways. Let's see what's here. A little more lead. A little more iron. We like coffee. Bones. Potatoes. Chamois sandwich. We're going to throw some of this stuff out because we're eight slots encumbered already, which is actually almost as encumbered as we can be. I should have left that stuff we were going to sell on the bike, actually, but I didn't, so whatever. Uh, all right. Open that up. Oh. That goes back into the kitchen. And then we got some kind of elevator scenario going on here. All right, let's get this ready. Those all the doodles down here. Oh, look at that. Gun rack. Nice. Okay, let's ditch that. Let's ditch that. Let's scrap that. Um, we're going to ditch the paper. And the bones. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to have some inventory issues here. Oh, there's going to be Zeke's in these box boxes. Uh Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can wake him up. So, let's just go. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, two business guys? Yeah, we're not worried about them. Easy peasy. Nobody in there. We got a savage country box. Let's see what's inside of here. Spears. And we got that. Oh. That must be a zombo hiding place. I wonder what that's all about. Uh, what about this? Nothing. Oh, we got a big vault door in here. Hey. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, how are we supposed to open that up? You push the button, man! Alright, we're going to probably have some friends in here. I got friends in low places. I'm going to get myself a copyright strike if I'm not careful. That door's open, too. Alright, where are these guys hiding? Don't see any red dots yet. Okay, there's going to be a zombie hiding in there. Big Mama. Uh, should we light Big Mama up? Make sure everybody's loaded here. Is it just you? It's not just her. Oh, you know what? We never grabbed the satchel. Alright, well let's um I was gonna say, there's gotta be more zombos down here. Oh shit. Okay, that takes care of the Zeeks. We need meds. Boy, do we ever need meds. Okay. Um, let's see what's in here. You can craft drum. Oh, nice. Nice. Absolutely nice. I love that. We need it, too. Let's take this. Soup stock is used in... Yeah, it's used in uh, one of the recipes. Uh, we'll take the... Oh, shit. We don't have no space. <sighs> okay, let's... Uh, we're going to have stuff in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Stuff in there and stuff in there, too. We're going to have to come back. And we might see if we can actually open that safe, too. Okay, so this is the exit, I'm assuming. Uh, is it? This place is kind of weird, man. Sneaky! Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Let's offload into our bike. All right, we're going to get the rest of the loot skis. And then we will go get the satchel. Don't care about that. Grab those items. Okay, we're going to get rid of those, and we might end up we might end up getting rid of this iron. I don't have any pipes on me, huh? Okay. I'm not going to take that coffee. I would if I had room, but I don't, so. All right, let's see if we can open up this safe. I mean, I'm sure we can eventually. We have 50 lockpicks on us. I'm not going to take that. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> We're so close. Come on, man.
All right, that wasn't too bad. Wooden bow quality three. Okay, so we can make the same quality of bow that we now currently have, which is a good thing. Uh, we will take the shotgun shells, the spear parts, and yep, you're going to have to go. I think you're the one that needs to go or should go. Well, yeah. All right, we still need to sacrifice one thing. Where does this go? Oh, it's just a bathroom. Uh, for... They kept people in a jail cell at the bottom of the bakery? What kind of bakery was this, man? It's crazy. Uh, we need still need to make room for the satchel, so... Uh, where is the damn satchel, by the way? It's... Up? Uh, oh, it's right there. Okay. So what else should we get rid of? Decisions, decisions. You know, this is actually isn't really worth that much. Um, but then again, that's worth 20. We don't have any leather, so scrapping is not going to do any good. 28, 51. <coughs> um, yeah, I think uh, probably those. Very good. Let's go do this turn in real quick. Looks like it's just over there at Hugh. And uh, then we'll go see Jin, get our first tier three quest, and do our first tier three quest. Hi, Hugh. Looking for something. You must think you're pretty hot shit now. Maybe well, a little you bit. did it, so I'll honor our agreement. Okay, so I think we'll go with the crafting skill magazine bundle. Oh, look at that. We are finished, ladies and gentlemen, with tier two with Hugh. Melee mods, AK traps, ranged mods. Uh... I wonder what we might get out of ranged mods. Because we got a pretty decent AK already. Let's let's try ranged mods. Why does it have a shotgun on it, though? That should be a bow, right? Mm. Well, let's try it and see what happens. All right. We'll take your special job opening this trade routes. Trader wrecked. Fantastic. Okay, we already know where wrecked is, but... Um, all right, let's sell some stuff to him. And I think that, oh, and this, okay. Oh, and well, we should. Well, good luck with that. We should repair this first. Make, make a little bit more money off it. All right, let's see what he has, cause he's, I believe he's reset, uh, he and Jen anyways. Well, I think they all reset at the same time anyway. Do you have a uh, Forge Ahead mixing? He does not. All right, that's all the stuff we sold him. Okay. That's right. Do the math. Let's do our magazine bundle. Man, man we didn't get a Forge Ahead. Shotguns and bows. Okay, let's open this. So it gave us mods for ranged. I mean, those are nice mods, though. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting... Well, let's see here. That's got the silencer. Wouldn't mind putting the reflex sight on here. Probably instead of the bipod. And for the, hmm, that's got two mods. That can only take two slots. That's already got a tripod. I guess we could put a laser sight on here. Um, and that, because I can't put them on the other weapons. Actually, though, you know what? Can I put this on the shotgun? 
I can. All right, let's pull the Hunter mod back off and put that on. And then we'll put the Hunter mod on here because we'll use this to shoot there anyway. That makes more sense. That makes a little more sense, ladies and gentlemen. And I think that's all, all the modding we can do at the moment. So we'll just hang on to this tripod mod. Okay, so we got to do your opening trade routes first or come back and see you tomorrow to get tier three from you. Let's go to Jen. Um, yeah, let's go to Jen and get, uh, see if she has a Forge Ahead magazine and get our first tier three job from her. So I'll see you guys over there. I'll probably stop off at the base real quick and drop some things off. If you're uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. All right, let's take a look at your inventory. And I want to see if you have... Crap, she doesn't have... Um... What is this? Another Harvest Coffin. Uh, yeah, that's a nice one. What about the Lucky Looter? Find more junk and loot, which means higher quantity. Rats. Okay, so she doesn't have a, a Forge Ahead either. Uh, what? Uh, let's just look at her entire inventory because she has also reset. She's got a beaker. We have one of those too. Lucky loader, advanced bellows, sledgehammer. Ooh, she's got compound bows. Ooh. Those would be nice. We'd have to raise another a little over 2,000 more coin to afford it. Okay, let's keep that in mind. I would not mind having a compound bow. I truly would not. Do you happen to have any steel arrowheads? Here, we should look for those in here. She doesn't. Okay. Uh, nothing this time? Well, here, we're going to take a tier three job from you, Jen. Infested. Oh, we want. Jeez. Do we want to do a tier three infested? Infested to start off? Oh, man, that sounds so dangerous. Uh, what the hell is there? looking to earn some dukes? The Philippe Resonance. For... Okay, be careful and try not to get yourself killed. I will do the level best that I can. Oh, man, why did I do that? <laughs> Jeez. All right, you guys. Um, Jen did not have a Forge Ahead magazine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to forego the infested tier three for the rest of this episode and instead we're going to pay this place a visit because we're pretty darn guaranteed well i don't know if guaranteed is the right word but we have a very high probability of finding at least one forge ahead magazine in this place so we're just going to do it randomly without uh, you know having a job for it and then if we get a job for it later of course it'll reset Look at that. Ronnie McDonnie. And friends. Oh man, I love that. Hit through both of them. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Can I have my arrow back, please? Nope. I guess I can't. Okay. Um, so let's just start on the left and we'll kind of work our way around clockwise in the front room and then we'll go from there. Rifle book. Duck bill mod. Kind of like the duck bill mod. More food. We're almost maxed out on food. I guess, from what I heard, the game no longer gives you magazines for something you're maxed out in. I don't know if that's true or not, but I did hear that. Or maybe I just had dreamed it. I don't know. Dreamt it. Pipe solidity. Okay, that should mean we could make a level one double barrel. Or not. Really? Nope. We need one more point. Okay. Let's grab the books here. There's another spear. All right. That's a, a good one. Four grip. Another spear. Uh, harvesting tool. Traps. 
Salvage. Wrench quality four. Nice. Man, we just made a we just made a quality three. Oh well, it's alright. Repair tool. Claw hammer quality five. Nice. We're probably getting somewhat close to the nail gun, I bet. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take some paper. That will sell. This will read. We're probably getting somewhat close to being able to make a level two steel spear. Pistol quality two. Nice. Okay, so we can make the same quality pistol that we are currently using. Wiring and spears. There we go. Steer spe uh, steel spear quality two. We'll be making one of those tonight. Seeds, blueberries, and hops. Okay. Nothing behind the counter there. Spears again. All right, let's go uh, back up to the front here. Shots to the leg slow your opponent. How are we doing uh, on finishing out? All right, so we need book one and book five. Nice, getting close. Okay, so, wow. We looted this entire front room and we did not find a Forge Ahead magazine. Why did I have to say, ah, we should find one in here, no problem. Why, oh why, did I have to say that? Well, we're not done yet, though. There's more to go. Okay, so it is noon. There's usually a zombie behind here or two. Look at that. Um, we'll hang on to that. Nice. Arlene's purse. <laughs> Purse pistol, pistol purse. Now, is this one better? It is better. By just a hair. All right, modify. Take those off. Put them on here. Upgrade. Did we look at this coffee maker? We did not. Java. Oh, more books. Okay, come on, forge ahead. Uh, well, you know, that's a good one too, though. Game, you hate me. Except for iron tools, quality five is pretty nice. Can't complain too much about that. Not at all. Okay, let's go back to the fun. We might want to reload this, though. Yeah, think. And this too. It's because I did all those those mod changes earlier and forgot to reload them. That uh, reflex sight is different than it was before. Hmm, I don't know. I kind of like the other model better, I think. No. Nope. I actually need to dig some clay, though, for the forge, but that's not something I want to loot. We'll harvest it. I'm not really going to salvage anything right now, either. Close that door for the moment. All right, we've got a chamois box up here. Take the chili. 
Nope. Uh, don't think I want either one of those things. We will take that stuff, though. All right, let's go out here. Got him. Got them all. Crack a book box. Another chance. Another chance, ladies and gents, for a Forge Ahead book. <laughs> okay. Door's locked. That door's locked. Buzzards probably up here, maybe. There's going to be, usually there's some zombs in those places over there. All right, let's, oh, there's a victim. Okay, let's get our arrow from her. One on a sleeper, probably on the other side of that, because I can hear them. Is there anything in this? No, I don't think so. A big Mama and a Steve. Bird's nest. Okay, it's, I still think there's a sleeper in here. Never mind. Okay, we need to lighten up a little bit. Um. Let's eat this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, scrap these. Get rid of that. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, now there's going to be some Zeke's down that way. See if we can pop Darlene from here. We popped her, but we didn't kill her. Never mind. Can't really get a clear headshot off on Steve. But it doesn't matter because he's dead too. There might still be a couple Zeeks alive down there, so but we took two of them out. Come on, game. You just hate me, don't you? Everything except for Forge Ahead. Knuckle wraps. Quality four. <sighs> All right. What does this do? Craft diamond tip blade bonds. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, there's a dude right there. He did. And is that a corpse or a Zeke? We didn't kill you? Apparently not. Get a sneaky sneak off on Ronnie McDonny. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay, let's get our 
those back. Uh, no, actually, yeah, I don't want to take either one of those things. But I do want my arrows back. I couldn't remember if I killed her or not. She was just laying there like nothing, you know. <clears throat> Let's see, we looted that box. We did not loot this box. Nope, don't want any of that. Crack a book here. Uh, each successive leg shot on the same target increases chance to cripple by 10%. Okay. Okie dokie. Last chance for a Forger headbook. Can you believe that? We looted an entire Cracker Book store and we did not find a single Forge Ahead magazine. What the hell? Um, sure. Okay, let's open this thing up. This is a tier three building, even though we didn't have a job for it, but we can say now that we've cleared a tier three building, I suppose. So we sort of did a tier three quest in this uh, episode. Not a quest, but a POI. There we go. <laughs> Asaha! Wow, okay, I, I guess I hadn't considered that we might find it in the, the fat loots. All right, we got it, you guys. My goodness, I didn't think we were going to get it, but we did. So we can now make ourselves a cement mixer, which is going to improve our odds of survival on the next Horde night significantly. Sig uh, no, try that again. Significantly. Significantly. Um, so that's beautiful. All right, well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. And then in the next episode, we will make our first attempt at a feral, not a feral. Well, it might as well be a feral. A, uh, what's it, what's it called again? I always forget. Infested. At an infested tier three. Oh boy. Lord help me. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.